Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Naughty Threads. So this is going to be a very interesting video and a lot of you have already watched this video on my Kannada channel with Kannada explanation and I've got a lot of requests uh, asking to do uh, an explanation in English that's why I am here today. So this is a, a portly design uh, sari kuchu where uh, I am using a brocade fabric to prepare portlies like this. Once the portlies are prepared, we will just have to stitch some beads around the portly. So we will see how to do that. So to uh, make the portly, I am using this kind of a plastic ring and a sponge sheet and some beads like this. So we will fold uh, the sponge sheet around the plastic ring and uh, trim off the extra uh, sponge sheet and then we will wrap it in the brocade fabric like this. So make sure. Uh, you have enough brocade fabric uh, here in this uh, I am using cotton thread to tie it off like this so wind it around like good uh, five to six times and then uh, tie it with the cotton thread and then trim off the extra fabric now to add beads I am again using cotton thread in the normal sewing needle fix the knot to the corner and then insert three beads Pick up a little bit of fabric and then pass the needle through the third bead. This is how you will add the first set of beads. From the second uh, time you are adding the bead, you just have to add two beads every time and not three. Right? So every time you add two beads, pick up a little bit of fabric like this and pass it from the second bead. So this is how you will prepare all the portlies and once you are done with that, uh, here we are preparing the piping. So for this we are using a gold cross piece fabric and piping dory and just stitching the piping. Uh, the length will be according to the width of the pallu. So if the pallu is 45 inches, you will prepare 47 inches long uh, piping dory. So uh, this uh, will actually give a very good finishing. So here we will first stitch the piping like this. You will have to pay attention and see how uh, the piping is uh, stitched. It is facing towards the inside. So that when we fold that extra fabric, it will come towards the outside. So just make a crease and stitch the piping like this, like shown in the video. So once we have stitched the piping, we will then start attaching the portlies. Now uh, the number of portlies will uh, exactly I mean depend on how much distance you want to give in between the portlies. So you can place them at around two and a half inches or two inches or even three inches depending on the outcome you want. So generally. Uh, here I have uh, used around three inches because the portly is big. If it is too close and it looks a little clumsy and overcrowded, uh, that is the reason I have marked at 3 inch gap. So uh, it is up to you, decide the distance and then you will mark and then just simply keep stitching on the mark. So place the portly like this. Again the portly, the right side of the portly will be facing towards the down. So the right side of the sari and the right side of the portlies will be facing each other in simple terms. So this is how you will keep stitching. So this is the 3 inch or 2 and a half inch gap. So as soon as you reach that point again add the next portly. So uh, it might uh, look a little uh, difficult and tedious task but once you do one sari you will understand how easy it is. And uh, yes, for uh, working designs like this, you will need to know how to use the sewing machine. If you are uh, not aware of uh, stitching or even basic uh, stitching, then this is not for you. Uh, the reason being, it can't be done stitching by hand because it does not give a neat finish. All this piping, portlies and all uh, give, I mean, come out well only if, it, if they are stitched using a sewing machine. So after stitching all the portlies, this is how it looks. Now the pallu is plain maroon, so that is the reason I have used the brocade fabric. Uh, just so that it looks more grand. Instead of brocade, you can also use normal uh, silk, like plain silk as well. 
now here i'm uh, we are cutting uh, the lining fabric just to cover up all the unfinished ends of the inside so cut around uh, one and a half inch wide again according to the width of the pallu we will have to attach the pieces and make sure it is of that length then we will stitch it on top of this just like how we stitched the portly again we are placing one more layer one extra layer of cotton which is matching whatever the pallu color is you will have to pick up the same color uh, either cotton fabric or you can also use cotton silk cotton silk might sometimes make it more thicker so off late i am uh, using cotton lining so that it uh, does not add on to too much weight on the pallu so we'll stitch it from one corner to the other corner and then we will trim off all the extra fabric from the other side like this trim everything and then we will just fold it and hem it after folding we will have to uh, put one more stitch like this right next to the piping so by doing so all the unfinished uh, end will be concealed inside that lining fabric and it will give a very good finishing even in the back side of the pallu so all this cannot be achieved by uh, hand stitching so that is the reason uh, knowing how to stitch or how to use a sewing machine becomes very important while doing these kind of designs so whatever beads uh, we have worked around uh, the portly you can change you can use pearls you can use crystals you can change the pattern of how uh, uh, the beads are worked you can make any changes as per your choice so once it is stitched this is how we will hem the cotton uh, fabric onto the back side we will have to neatly iron the cotton fabric before we start hemming so that there are no wrinkles in the pallu so uh, on the whole uh, uh, it's not like a straight forward task uh, there's lot of work that goes behind uh, you know uh, designing something like this so if everything is followed then you see how the finishing is uh, it it looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, uh, there is nothing to pinpoint about the finishing so you will have to follow everything very patiently to uh, get an outcome like this So this is how we prepare this kind of design for the sari uh, kuchu. Do let me know if you have any requests on my WhatsApp number which is mentioned in the description box. And in case you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all in today's video. I shall see you guys soon with more interesting stuff. Until then, take care. Bye bye.